Hey guys, welcome to a in-depth review of the Revlon Color Stay Foundation for Combination to Oily Skin. This foundation is set to last for 24 hours and it's for combination to oily skin and it's set to give a matte flawless finish. So in this video, I'm going to be going through what the finish is like, whether it's worth your money, if you are hoping to buy this foundation or you're just in look for a good foundation of it, or you've heard a lot about it i'm going to be getting into everything in this video and we are starting right now it comes with a pump which is very very good i've done my eyebrows and i'm going straight into this review first i'm going to be adding primer to my face but just half of my face and leaving the other half of my face bare so that we can track how long this foundation lasts when it comes to longevity because since the foundation is set to be for oily to com combination to oily skin then we need to see how true this is i'm applying a few pumps of the foundation on my hand and i like the consistency i love the um consistency it's not hard to work with it's not too thick it's not quick it's just liquidy enough to work with Applying this foundation, it has a yellow undertone, which I don't like. Dark skin girls are usually red or orange in undertone, though there may be some that are having yellow undertone. I don't know. I've never come across any in my makeup artist's life. Most dark skin, they are either red or orange undertone. So this yellow undertone is clearly for people with lighter skin tone. Also, the coverage on this foundation is nothing exciting. It's just from sheer to medium coverage. It's not a full for, full coverage foundation at all. And I don't like applying lots of foundation to my face. It shows through my scars and any other imperfection that I have on my face. We're just all glaring out. So, it can't cover lots of imperfection if that's what you're looking for if you have dark spots problematic skin and you're hoping for a foundation to cover that this is not going to do that for you honey so just save yourself the stress and save yourself the money so i decided to add more to it and i hate putting lots of foundation on my face you know i'm all about skincare first before anything just to see whether it's going to work and this foundation smells like chemical I'm not even joking it has a very strong smell to it and i tried to build more to see still everything was peeping through it was starting to look bring out this golden yellowish undertone which if i continued adding more it will just differentiate my neck color from my face and everybody will be wondering what happened so it wasn't just what it i went through um, putting the foundation on the other side of my face with the primer and just blending everything out all together and I'm going to head on with highlighting my normal highlighting and contour routine and I'll come back to you guys So guys, this is 3.30 p.m. Um, we are going to be testing how long this foundation lasts, if it lasts 24 hours, but I don't even feel 
I'm even interested to know whether it lasts 24 hours because I don't like the finish. Like, it's not bad, but I'm not in excited. Hmm. It's not extraordinary. It's just there. Um, it's just there. I would advise anybody to get Super Stay instead of this. Yeah. They're just seeking for a normal foundation without... I don't like the way it brought the rest of my makeup together. I don't, there's just something about it I don't like. I can't tell. Um, yeah. Is it comfortable? It's comfortable on skin, like they said. Yeah, for sure it's comfortable on skin. It has, it has a good finish, but it's not a flawless finish. No, not a flawless finish. So I'm going to come back. 6 p.m. and I'll come back 9 p.m. and we're going to check how it is. this foundation stay put it did not even shift there's no difference in anything it's just what it is the way I did it the way I kept it nothing is creasing my foundation is the way it is Ugh. that's impressive I didn't even sweat and I was cooking in the kitchen and doing all the work but nothing, no sweating. If it's others that have been sweating by now, that's that's quite impressive. That's what I would say.